Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Hope you pilots had a great weekend uh, mixing up in the skies. Unfortunately, I haven't been on for most of the week due to personal issues that I did not foresee. And that's also the reason you didn't get a second video. So uh, this video was supposed to come out the end of last week and I hope you enjoy it. It is a bit of a barn burner, obviously. Hopefully the title grabbed your attention. I've tried to explain over the last couple of months to different pilots uh, why the No Clouds mod is really not a factor in the game and uh, why it should not be considered cheating of any sort. And uh, why, by the way, Wargaming doesn't consider it cheating, why you can find this mod freely on in multiple mod packs and, and on the forums um, in any number of places, and uh, why it can be freely discussed on Discord and no one gets shut down. And that's because it doesn't do everything that people believe it does. Um, it's not quite the magic wand that I think people maybe hope that it is. Um, and I'm going to show you that today with hopefully, you know, the visuals that, that I need to really help uh, people understand what's going on with the No Clouds mod, what it's actually doing versus what it's not doing. So uh, I'm playing a battle in the uh, Mi 209 V4, the Tier 5 uh, German flying, you know what, plane. It's not a great plane. Yes, I enjoy flying planes that are not great. Um, it's just part of my MO. I guess I feel like if you can do well in a plane that's not great, um, that's uh, something about you as a pilot, right? Something good about you as a pilot. So I love playing planes like this. They're a little bit of a challenge. And I'm going to knock out this bomber. And then I'm going to dip over my nose into the famous cloudy map uh, with this command center in the center. Uh, and we are going to watch as uh, my No Clouds mod takes effect, or in this case does not take effect because... Uh, again, it's not the magic wand. People hope that it is. So I finish off this bomber. You can see as I dip over, you, there's no clouds, right? Now those are out of my interface, out of my client. Um, and so I'm going to tip over. And you can see right here, I'm in the center section. And I can see all the way to the ground. So you already know the no clouds mod is functioning in my client in this recording. And you're going to say, by golly, you know, there's a plane below him. The No Clouds mod has allowed him to see this uh, F2A Buffalo down on the ground. That F2A should be under cloud cover. It should be disguised from my aircraft that's 1,800 meters up in the ground. And it actually is. Uh, the only reason it's visible right now is because there was another plane close to him that's now moving away from him, and that is the multi-roll uh, down there below. Um, and so uh, the cloud cover was not between the multi-roll, my multi-roll, and this multi-roll, which is, of course, flying low. But my multi-roll is moving away, and so uh, the, I'm the only plane close to this buffalo. So watch what happens. Uh, by the way, note, I can't see all the buildings either. Um, <laughs> So I don't have any indication on hit points, um, and for the smaller structures, you know, there's just not a real clear indication of whether they are up or down. Um, and so that's a uh, you know part of the information that's still slightly hidden. You, know, you can still see the smoke coming up, but you can see that through the clouds as well. So, but watch the plane. Watch the F2A Buffalo here, and uh, watch what happens to him. So now I'm the only plane that can see him, and he's gone. Uh, he's gone because my friendly plane is outside of his spotting range for him, and I am above the clouds, so I can't see him either. Um, and that's really what people, I think, miss about the No Clouds client. It removes uh, the visual of the clouds in my client, but it does not remove the effects of the clouds in my client. Those calculations are still being made inside the server of the game, not inside my client, because spotting and visuals and, and when planes appear and disappear is not calculated by your client. Those things are calculated by the server. And the server did its check and it realized uh, the multi-roll behind me is too far away and I have cloud cover between me and him, so can't see him. Uh, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to be able to, to witness where this plane is at. Uh, so as a result, um, he is going to be protected by the clouds. And if you look closely at the screen, you'll see not even the model, the textures of his aircraft are on my screen. Uh, so there's not even a shadow of where he is. I have no idea. I have no idea which direction he's turning or, or anything else, right? I'm only just now getting information on the buildings that are below me. Uh, that's because clouds are not impenetrable. Uh, clouds are kind of like bushes in World of Tanks. They reduce the range at which you can be spotted. Uh, they're not an absolute barrier to it. So once you do get within a certain amount of range, you will be able to see through the clouds, right? There's, um, there's a kind of bonus to your camouflage rating, if you will, in the same way that if you're using camouflage on your aircraft, you have a bonus to concealment. And clouds also offer a bonus to concealment. And so because of that, 
that F2A Buffalo below me is concealed. I cannot see him. Uh, if you've played World of Tanks, you know this. This is kind of secondhand information, right, in that game. But it's true in World of Warplanes as well. So I can't see him. I don't know what he's up to. Even though I have the No Clouds mod installed on my plane uh, in my client, it's not giving me any undue advantage. Uh, it's not forcing the server to show me anything it doesn't want to show me. Uh, all it has done is made it easier for me to enjoy the beauty of the game um, and the and not look at just a hazy white uh, thing on my screen. Now, can you make the argument that um, I can see the, the ground and maybe I don't pull up in time? Maybe there's an advantage in that? I guess, but I already have a mod that does that. It's called the altimeter, and it's on the right-hand side of my screen. I can see how high in the sky I am. So um, if I'm using the altimeter, I'm also not going to crash into the ground, right? So again, it offers an advantage, but not a game-breaking one, not one that hacks the client, not one that hacks the server, not one that forces any revealed information um, that otherwise wouldn't be there. That information is still present. It's just organized in a way, in this case with the altimeter, right, um, and with the visuals, that's a little more helpful to me. So watch, uh, when I get close enough to burn through the cloud cover, I'm going to be able to see the buffalo again. Um, and again, you can't see the clouds of my client, but they're still there. They're still there. And so right about here, he pops back into view again. I can finally see him. Uh, so I'm close enough that the visual range reduction of the clouds has been taken away. Uh, I can see directly to where he's at now. Um, but again, he's changed positions and much more radically than I anticipated in my dive. Um, and so I'm going to let this play out. But as you're going to see, I can't, you know, he, he's going to turn back into me. You know, it's, it's a bot, but so I'm not sure how intentional turning back into me was. I think he's just going back into the zone. But nonetheless, um, it's going to cause me to miss, you know, on my dive on him um, and it's a it's definitely a protective measure for him uh, that is still intact despite the mod uh, that I am running right now. So as a result of this, and by the way, there's a secondary in here as well that you're going to see, which I think is great. Um, and uh, I'll show you on the minimap in just a second. But you know, he's going to turn. I've got to figure this out. I'm already going too fast. I can't dip down too much lower. And so he's safe, right? Um, he is safe uh, underneath me and I can't get back to him. So uh, that's that's the gist of what I wanted to show you today. Uh, the No Clouds mod is, is not a magic wand. Uh, it doesn't uh, force uh, or twist the arm of the server to show things that it doesn't need to be showing. That's, that's not the way it works. Um, and you can see another spotting mechanic at work uh, in, in my client right now. For example, as I'm diving on the F2A, right? Um, if you look on my screen up towards the airfield, there are no aircraft there. And if you look on my mini map, there's no other aircraft there. But now instead of watching the Buffalo, watch my mini map. Boop. There you go. Did you see him pop up down there in the south? Two aircraft. Uh, same thing, right? We've got a situation where there's clouds and view range and all those uh, calculations are being made in the, in the uh, server. And those planes were not available to me. I could not see them. Uh, but now that we are close enough, uh, I have visual on them and they pop onto the screen. So again, you know, removing clouds uh, did not give me some sort of magic glasses that allowed me to see things I wasn't supposed to be able to see. Um, I couldn't see them until the server was ready to show them to me. So I missed the dive on him. I try and squeeze a few in there uh, because these guys have popped up late. I don't have time to, to swing in around on them. Uh, so I get a brushing pass on this guy and I'm going to use the... Uh, the 209's incredible speed at tier five to fly away from these guys. Um, and uh, you know, what we've kind of talked about in terms of these energy maneuvers before, but hopefully this is helpful to everyone. Hopefully it shows you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about, um, you know, why this mod uh, does not break the game in any way and why it's not cheating in any way. Everything that is supposed to happen still happens. Um, it's really a, a mod more than anything that just gives you a little bit of comfort. Um, it's an it's an ease of use mod, right? It just makes the game prettier. Um, the No Clouds mod, I believe, also has a glare filter uh, built into it as well to kind of take a little bit of that uh, just brightness of the sun off. But it's the same thing with the clouds of the sun as it is with the clouds. If I can't see a plane because of the sun, and yes, there are mechanics where uh, uh, a plane who is uh, you know between you and the sun 
movement is less visible, has a concealment bonus, again, the same way it would if it was a tank behind a bush in World of Tanks or uh, an F2 buffalo beneath the clouds and this dive, right? Uh, there's a reduction there. Um, so being up sun from your opponent in World of Warplanes actually does give you an advantage because it, it does give you a bonus to concealment. Uh, in the same way there, right? Um, I can reduce the glare from the sun, I can reduce the clouds in my client, but it doesn't change the calculations that are being made and the mechanics of the game. Those are untouchable because they're being done on a centralized server and not within my little old computer right here, and my, my little old client right here, uh, no matter how much I try to modify it. So again, hopefully this is helpful and clear and concise to people. If you have questions, you're welcome to put them in the comments. Um, you know, if you'd like some clarification on something, that's fine as well and comments are open for you um, if your goal in the comments is to yell and kick and scream um, you're not welcome to do that in the comments i'll see you to the door <laughs> if there's going to be name calling and kicking and screaming uh, but if you have questions uh, if you would like to know more uh, like to point something out you are welcome to do that down there um, and uh, hopefully if this has been informative uh, you can tap that like button and uh, more than that more than liking and subscribing those are cool and all but really hopefully you'll share this video with your clan mates with your players you're familiar with uh, to help them understand a little better what the mechanics of the game are and, and what's working here uh, so that we can have uh, at least one fight in the player base of World Warplanes settled and done with it should be settled and done with since uh, Wargaming is okay with the mod but um, hopefully this uh, just uh, is the final nail in the coffin on this uh, this very bizarre debate uh, within the community about the this mod and what it does. So you've seen um, it doesn't do nearly as much as people believe that it does, and hopefully that is helpful to you. Um, I hope things are back on track this week and I have a chance to put up a second video for you. Uh, I am working on that and uh, would love to, so uh, look for that uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday. And until then, pilots, good luck and good hunting.